Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next interview question which you may be asked is how to solve many to many relationship between facts. A many to many relationship can also occur between a fact and a dimension. And in that case, we have a little bit different solution. Ideally, we should not join two facts. And when we join two facts, then we will have many to many relationship. And that is what we would like to avoid. And that is what question for today is how to avoid many to many relationship. So handling many to many relationship between the power BI require careful modeling and the use of common dimensions. You need to identify the dimensions and create one to many joints. You need to identify what are dimensions, the common thing. Usually you will be able to find date dimension because date should be there in both the tables. Then common dimensions like material or item, geography, these kind of dimension you should also be able to figure out easily. So what is the process? identifying the common dimension begin by identifying the common dimension that both your fact tables shares these dimensions act as a bridge table between the facts bridge table or dimension table in power query you can append the columns from different tables and delete the duplicate rows to create such dimensions we can append either the columns or the set of columns and then delete duplicates to create such dimension if the primary key is already present then we are not bothered otherwise we create an index column and then we use the merge queries to populate the index column back into the fact then what you have to do is once your model has been created you have to establish a relationship between the tables so dimension table and the fact table and you have to make sure that you are creating no relationship between fact facts are only joined with dimension and typically the joints are one to many single directional but if you remember, we have discussed a case where the fact and the dimension has a many to many relationship. In such cases, we create an intermediate bridge table. And in that bridge table, when we do, we do create a bi-directional relationship between the bridge table and the dimension table. So bridge table would join on both on the one side, but on the bridge table, we create bi-directional fact to the bridge table, bi-directional and bridge table to dimension table. Again, bi-directional one to many relationships would be created. So that's a different case. Now, how to create the tables I power query way I just told you, but in case of DAX, how do you do? So one of the ways is if it is a single column, you say take distinct of both the tables and then you union them and again take a distinct because both the tables can have same thing. If it is a multi column like uh, the second example, which is distinct union. So there we can use summarize item and uh, item name both has been taken inside the summarize and then for other table it is also coming. Then we take then a union and then distinct. You can have different dimensions which are defined and then based on that you can create the joints. So what we are going to do is we are going to take one example and today we are going to do this solution using the DAX. But I have given blogs and on the channel there are videos both using Power Query as well as the DAX. The solution has already been provided on the channel. For today's example let me jump onto the Power BI. I am on the Power BI and here I wanted to bring a file and the file I wanted to bring is the sales purchase file and again that is available on my GitHub account. On GitHub account, this is my sales purchase file. I'll give you the link into the description. You go here, right click on the raw copy link. Once you get the link, go back to the Power BI and there you say get data and we have to get the web data. It is also known as web API if you are using the data flows. And once you click on that, it should detect the tables. So as you can see here, we have a sales and purchase. It already have a category table, but I'm not going to bring in assuming we don't have a category table. So we have a sales table which has sales date, sales amount and category, purchase has purchase date, sales amount and category and we will load this. What is happening here is basically you have a sales table, you have a purchase table but you don't have a common dimension. So what would you do? Can I join category to category? If I join category to category, it is going to create a many to many join. If this is what you don't want because these are dimensions. What we are going to do is we are going to delete it. Here we have a very simple case because we have a, only a numeric category dimension. So I can simply create it and then we I have a dates uh, both are named as sales date so I can create a date table using the calendar function. So to create a date table inside the data model view we have this new table option now and we are going to use that to create it. So I'm going to use the calendar function and on the calendar function what I can do is I can start with the date 2018 comma 01 comma 01 to date of 2022 comma 01 comma 01. Date or the calendar table has been created. If needed, we can modify it later to have better dates suitable for both the tables. Now let's try to create relationship between these tables. So now I created the date using the calendar table. Now let me join it. So once I join it, it suggests me one to one join. I don't want one to join one join. Even if it is one to one join, go and make your date table on the one side and the sales table and the purchase table on many side create a one to many single directional join. Same way with the purchase table. Go and create one to many 
single directional join date is on the one side i join with the date table is complete now i want to have a category table the category table i only have the ids so again i'm going to create a new table so on the home tab menu i am able to see new table in here and i'm going to click on that so we will call it category table and in the category table we will use first of all distinct from table one which is my sales category and then i want to union this with the purchase so now let me put the union function now let me also make it bigger by pressing control and middle mouse button so you can see it so one is already done so distinct of category and i am doing a union of that and then let me again put distinct along with the purchase category so now the union we can do distinct of both sales category and purchase category but if the categories are available in both the tables now still we will have duplicate so again we will put one more distinct now we will go ahead and put another distinct and we got a category table now now if you have multiple you can use summarize and then again put a distinct now join this category with the category of sales table again we have to make sure that we are doing a one to many single directional join and again we are going to do a with the purchase table one to many single directional join so now this is complete now if you remember i have created the date table using calendar and not checked out whether this table is sufficient or not so to check that sufficiency what we can do is bring the date table and bring any countable amount from the sales table convert this into a table there should not be any null value so we are seeing null value it means we are missing also bring uh, this uh, purchase amount from the purchase table again convert it into table as you can see there is some data missing it means the there are date missing so what happens in such cases when we create calendar table the dates could be missing so as you can see if you sort ascending is from 2015 and if you do sort descending 2019 says and purchase is from 2014 actually or descending 19 so 14 to 19 and 15 to 19 we have the data so that is why our date table is not sufficient i am going to move this date table to 2014 starting from 2014 and now if i go back as you can see now there is no blank rows it means our date table is sufficient now let's put a second visual take category from the category table take uh, purchase amount from purchase table and take sales amount from the sales table convert it into a table visual and as you can see the data is not showing any blank anyways we have taken distinct value from both the tables so it should not on that the amounts are distributed properly which shows there is join between the two tables correctly done so in this manner both the fact tables are now joined with the common dimension and along with the common dimension we are able to analyze and we can bring them together like we can bring in date and category together now in the date table once we have month year and quarter we can have month year quarter and date uh, also coming together so that is also possible so basically you can have one visual where you have the dates create a trend out of it and in that trend what we can do is we can have let's say purchase amount and then i can bring in categories as the legend and you will see that you know the category wise this is like maybe we converted this into tagged bar you can see on every date we have this bar so in this manner you can actually uh, get the data from the two fact table using the common dimensions and if common dimensions are not there they can be created either at the source if you are using let's say a warehouse which is there in the sql or you can do it in power query or you can do it in dax so i have shown you in detail how to tackle this kind of a problem so make sure uh, even if you are not asked to solve these kind of problem you have, you have been just asked to give what is the solution you tell the correct solution to the interviewer so why don't you go ahead and try this question out thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topic you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you